specific person who goes to look for shows for me. Not yet. I'm looking. Sure. I'm looking. But, you know, I have to, if I work with somebody like that, they have to share my vision. That's, that's always what I say. We have to have a similar vision for, you know, my music and music in general. And what would you say your vision is, and also what kind of message are you trying to put out in your music? Because you said your music is more conscious and has more of a uh, message than some of the others that you've heard. So what is that vision of yours, and what's the message that you're trying to put out? Um. Okay, so like, my vision with my music is basically, all right, like, as a kid, you know what I'm saying, I, I listened to hip-hop because it was kind of my escape, you know. It, it was my, like, it was, like, my therapist. It was my friend. It was all that, you know what I'm saying. So with my music, I kind of want to do the same for other people, you know. I, I want to, like, spread knowledge. I want to just, you know, talk about real things that people can relate to who may be going through something and just need to know that they're not alone. Um, and just pretty much trying to, like, spread positivity and just, um, you know, especially as a female to say that, you know, there are, there is more to us than just our bodies and, you know, our sexuality. There's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, there is more, you know, and, um, so yeah, that's, so before, that's kind of. I want to thank you. Before we go for it, I want to switch things up a little bit on the show today, uh, just to break the monotony. Dean Geronimo um, had mentioned last week about featuring new music, new artists from Jamila Records. Let's take a break and take a pause for the cause. Let people know where they can find us. iHeartRadio, 7 p.m. Monday nights. Every Monday night, 7 p.m., you can find Dean Geronimo on where, Dean Geronimo, can they find you? Um, Mark Lee, where can they find you? This is Ty, Ty, the voice of the people. I am your host, co-host, Mark Lee. Producer extraordinaire is Dean Geronimo, and you can find me on Facebook, T-I-E-J-O-N-E-S, Welch, or right here, Mondays, call in, give us a shout-out. Dean Geronimo, take it away. Uh. You need some music, or do you need me to tell you where I can be found? Because I'm a hard man to find. <laughs> I know. I like the ginger man, man. So you can let him know where they can find you. Then break us in with some music. Uh, that's uh, your forte. You know what? Um, like I said, it, it, find me on Twitter. That's the quickest way to find me. Facebook is full. Oh. There's no more vacancy. There's no more room at the end. So, you Uh-oh. know. I mean, I'm just going to say, for the people that missed it last week, I'm just going to flip the point one more time for you. It's Rhapsody, Jamlet's the Squad, Soul Council's the Foundation, Rock Nation's the Family, the rest is the future. Let's get it for a second. Don't make money Beyond boss Make more than they make from you Gotta lose old friends Cause some of them cancerous Let go and make different moves Everybody can't dance with you <laughs> Know that you pray to God Make room to answer you I chose to leave Cooley High But I love them We family bro Gotta leave home sometimes To see from a different view Let go of control sometimes And watch how some others move Everything is a chess game I learn how to play well Let go of them lame dudes Peace out to wax females Go get you a real one So you learn how real love is My people said go ahead I'm on it like Kim Fields Sex, sex These are the facts of life If you get it wrong, let it go so you can get it right The point of letting go, the major sign is from the start It's because God wanted us to time with the rock Back. My ethos resemble Regos from 76. 
Got a lot of hood in me, that's why the hood love me. And grow up in the hood, but I learned from my play cousins. Play with the boys when I was growing up, boy. Can't listen to reason if you still stuck in the noise. Well, I feel like I'm Roy Williams. Trying to ram all of my boys up in a big truck. Drive niggas, let go of outside niggas. Outside niggas, it's a big, big world. Letting go of your past might extend your life by years. Look around, you ain't gotta let go around to get around them. Switched up my goals, threw them off to get around them. I'm airing where the pack is at, I'm moving up a lot, yeah. Airing out distractions to focus on my errands. Ah, I'm so arrogant. New destination when I get up in the arrogant. Point on black Ladies and gentlemen, it's the voice of the people. Give us a call, 646-668-8393. It's me, the six-man Dean Geronimo, co-host Mark Lee, and, of course, the host, Ty Jones, in your area. We're here with Blue Rain right now. And, um, Blue, how you feeling today? I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling good. All right. Well, what's, your, what's your plan um, for... What do you what do you see hip hop in the next five years? I should say, general question. Where do I see hip? Uh, <laughs> that's a tough question. Honestly, I think like hip hop is kind of going through a like a renaissance right now. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot of like you know new ideas. There's just a, a lot of like it, it it's growing. It's um kind of like coming back. You know what I'm saying? Like. Just like real, real shit is coming back, um, and I think it's in a good place. I really do. Okay. Okay. Who were some of the folks that influenced you when you were growing up? And you said that you listened at a young age. When did you first start listening to hip hop? You said you're 25 now. So when did you first start listening? And who were the ones that actually that you were? were that, that's what grabbed you. I was probably like. Maybe seven or eight. I was very young. Um, like all my friends around me just kind of put me on. Um, but the first, you know, I, I was really grabbed the first by definitely by Nas, um, by Wu Tang. Um, let's see who else. Those are definitely the two biggest. <laughs> um, Jay Z, uh, Tupac, definitely, definitely Tupac. Uh, and um, pretty much just, I was kind of, I don't know, I, I, I was kind of always like the quiet kid. So, like, having these, you know, these influences kind of just helped me become, like, more, how can I put it? Like, more able to be myself. You know, they help me grow and help me become a better person and more able to express myself and my thoughts because I always felt like I was, you know, kind of a weirdo for have, for thinking the way I did. But then Tupac came on the radio and said what I was thinking, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. So it's, uh, it's, it's not just me then. So, yeah, that was and where it started. Yeah, and when you say other young people coming up and talking to you about hip hop, what advice do you give them? Because I mean, you're 25, so that's you know not even really like you're like very still young yourself. But like if a young teenager comes to you or somebody in high school or college and they're like, I want to get it, and you heard uh, Ty give you some advice. But what advice do you give the people that are coming up to talk to you about one how they should get into the game and what pitfalls they should look out for? Hmm. All right, I actually had something like this happened to me like somebody who just started that was like their first show and they were like you know I we don't know what we're doing and I was like you just got to keep doing it that was pretty much all I could say like just keep doing it and stay true to yourself you know because they were thinking that they would have to like dress a certain way to try to like more pull more people in and try to you know attract attention and whatever and I was like yeah that's cool you can dress whatever way you want but if you feel like you're not being true to yourself 
then, you know, why are you doing it? <laughs> you know, like, what do you, I mean, if it's money, then cool, whatever, then do that because you're still being true to yourself. But you just got to stay true to you and you got to keep going. Even if, even if you fail like 50 times, you'll eventually get it if you just keep going. So say five years from now, or let's say you say five and ten years from now, where does Blue Rain want to be five or ten years from now? Hmm. All right. Um, pretty much I just want to be able to make a living off of art. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying I need $100 million. I, I don't need to, like, you know, ball out of control or whatever. I just want to make a living, be comfortable, and be able to be an artist. So... If I have that, then I'm happy. And when you say being an artist, you you want to be like a multi-skilled artist. You don't want to just be a musician. It sounds like you want to be both a musician and an actor. So it sounds to me like to some degree you might even be like trying to try to be like an Italian version of Queen Latifah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like acting too. A- acting is a whole nother like – set of challenges though but they definitely help each other like my acting training has helped me to become a better MC, and my MCing has helped me to become a better actor so yeah i mean um whether it be in acting whether it be in music definitely i want to you know like music is still my first passion but um just the arts in general no matter what it is honestly so are there any other artistic skills that you have other than the acting and the music? I mean, do you do any visual art, or are there any other kind of skills that you have in terms of the other art uh, mediums that are out there, or is it primarily just the acting and the um, music? And have you been in any plays and films in Massachusetts yet? Um, let me see. Um, I mean, those are my two primary ones. Like I said, directing. I've I've, I've done that too. Um, I've done some script writing. Um, I definitely want to publish a book. Um, I'm in the middle of writing that. Um, but I'm not much of like a painter, <laughs> or like an like a um. I can't really draw to save my soul. So, those are the ones that I stick to. Um. And what was your other question? Uh, you pretty much answered it, but uh, the other thing that I'm going to ask you now is you mentioned a book. Is there a book idea that you have in mind? And if so what is that book idea? Is it going to be something based on your life, or is it like a fictional book that you're working on? You said you have a book in, that you're working on. Yeah, for now it's just going to be like a, a, like a memoir. Um, and I have some other book ideas, but that's the one that I'm – trying to get like my foot in the door with first so So I guess the question is what about your life is memoir worthy like what is there something that happened in your life that is gonna people are gonna be really caught by and everything is there like some conflict that was risen that you're gonna be exposing or is there something about your life that you really want to tell in the book form but you you want to share that later but I'm just trying to figure out what the nature of the memoir is Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to start off with, like, you know, some things that I went through when I was younger um, and kind of throughout, like, my early 20s um, and it kind of details how I overcame all that and how I um, kind of got to where I'm at now. So, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> but, it makes sense, yeah. but it sounds yeah. like there are some obstacles that happen in your life, be that personal obstacles or be that uh, relationship obstacles, and relationships can be even family relationships or be that other things that you had to fight with. It. But it sounds like there were some things that got in the way that caused you to uh, feel that there, that you need to tell your story in order to share it with other people. Oh, definitely, yeah, yep. Hey, hey, we we also got a uh, uh, thank you, Blue Rain, for that right there. We also have uh, with us tonight Prophet Tommy Lee Brown, Junior Caller from South Dakota. How you feeling this evening, sir? I'm um, great. I'm blessed, man. Thanks for having me. All right. All right. Tell us a little something about yourself. Um, well, I'm 38 years old. 
born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. Um, I had a rough upbringing. Um, been to jail, prison. Um, I turned my life.